What up YouTube, Zach here. Today we'll be talking about aortic stenosis. Now, this is part of our Pop Culture Cases series. Check out our case brief on Mr. Bursky from Scrubs if you haven't already. And if you want to learn a bit more about identifying murmurs, we have a great video from last year covering just that. Right there, so no excuses. Anyway, aortic stenosis, let's break this down. Aortic refers to the aortic valve, the valve between the left ventricle and the aorta. That's the valve that stands between the heart and all the tissues that it's perfusing. So it's kind of the big dog as far as valves are concerned. Stenosis, meanwhile, means narrowing. So we've got a narrowing of the aortic valve. There are three main causes. Number one, senile calcification. Over many years, the valve becomes thickened and stiff. This is quite common in older people, like Mr. Bursky. Number two, calcification due to a congenital bicuspid valve. So you're born with a valve with two cusps instead of three. This makes you more prone to calcification earlier in life. Remember, triangles are the strongest shape. Sorry, Neville, no squares. And number three, rheumatic fever earlier in life, perhaps in childhood. Now, I'm not gonna get too into this one today. All you have to know is that while it's increasingly rare in the UK, it's still important to ask about in a good thorough medical history. So for one reason or another, you've got yourself a narrow valve. What does that do to you? Well, we've got two videos for you on that. One on symptoms, the other on signs. But what should you do about aortic stenosis? Say, like JD on his first day, you identify a systolic murmur while examining a patient. Well, we have a video for you on management of aortic stenosis, which should answer all of those nagging questions. I think that's quite enough to be getting on with, don't you? 